Hello there everyone welcome back again with another video in this video we will be creating the certificate for remaining organization like organization 2 and orderer so in the previous video we have already created the all the necessary certificate for the organization 1 so let's jump into the vs code yeah so you can see here for the organization 1 we have already created all the certificate and our all the certificate authorities are already up and running so let's see one more time docker ps you can see all these three certificate authorities are up and running so it means for the order orderer and organization 2 as well we can create the certificate using the same procedure which we followed in the previous video let's open this script so we are done with the first part that is the creating certificate for the organization 1 for the organization 2 i will be running at a single time the same procedure exactly we are following which we followed for the create certificates for the organization 1 the same procedure is there just the difference is we will be hitting to the ca organization 2 and we will be creating for the organization 2 instead of organization 1 the procedure is exactly same so make sure that you are executing one by one if you are facing any issue just let me know in the comment section probably if you are hitting at the one time then you may get a error and you will not be able to understand where exactly you got that's why just try to execute one by one steps so i have tried it multiple times create certificate for the organization to the procedure is exactly same just you can see first of all enrolling the certificate authority admin creating node os these are the same exactly node organization units for organization 2 as well registering peer 0 registering peer 1 registering user and admin after that creating the msp for the registered users like peer 0 peer 1 user and admin this is the procedure the procedure is exactly same for first of all registering the user and after that creating the membership service provider that is the msp while enrolling them the procedure is same just i will be running this function create artifact certificate with ca.ch so i am running this create certificate for organization 2 this all the script which i have written inside this function will get executed and all the necessary stuffs related to the organization 2 will get created i'm running this in here you can see along with this organization 1.example.com organization 2.example.com will get created and this all the information will also have that organization 2 here let's run that yeah so all the things are done now here you can see here organization 1 and organization 2 so for the organization 2 as well the structure is exactly same what we have followed for the organization 1 moving this uh, tls certificate tls ca number of peers we have exactly same for organization 2 as well msp we have created here one of the most important thing here for organization 1 or organization 2 right now we have only certified authority for organization 1 and organization 2 we have created so let's see for the org uh, order organization as well i'll be commenting this part the procedure is for orderer also is exactly same but for in case of orderer we will be registering three orderers orderer orderer 2 orderer 3 and again uh, there would be admin and once we have registered those orderer after that we have to create the respective msp for these orderers the procedure is exactly same you can see generating order or msp and here moving those things same the folder structure is exactly same we are following that's why for each organization we have to do the same stuff and this order or organization will be get created in parallel with the peer organization so i will be running this as well in a single command in a single stroke so make sure that you are executing step by step so 
so we are doing for the orderer orderer 2 order, orderer 3 user and the admin the procedure is same first one is the register after that enroll so in in the enrollment process we will get the msp created and tls orderer as well we have to create this is the one time procedure uh, we need not to do it for for each order actually it's a organization level procedure but the TLS certificate for each orderer we have to create this procedure I was talking about these two steps we not need to follow again and again once we have followed uh, for any orderer I will, I'm running this command create certificate with ca.hs so right now I'm executing for the orderer so this all these steps will get executed and orderer stuff will get created so I'm running now here you can see in the orderer organizations we have CA, MSP, orderer, TLCA users the same folder structure and inside the orderer we will be having three different orderer orderer.example.com, orderer2.example.com and orderer3.example.com the TLS certificate will have TLSCA user will have admin right now here and third one is the uh, MSP of for this organization again this MSP will have the same structure yeah so here you can see all the certificates got created and in the certificate authority CA folder we have CA certificate and the private key for the certificate for the organization level and in case of orderer in case of organization 1 and organization 2 we have this private key Yeah, here for the order organizations also we got created the same folder structure in the MSP orderers we have three orderers and for the MSP we have Yeah, and for the organization 1 and organization 2 also we have to do the same thing for the organization 2 key store perfect so we have created these all the crypto material required and now we can start with our network so right now this crypto config CA folder is here inside the create certificate with CA but all the docker compose files here you can see they are taking they are mounted on the crypto config folder so probably we can just copy this folder and paste inside this channel yeah here and just rename it to the crypto config so that we don't need to change anything crypto config perfect this is the backup folder it is not required actually this sir uh, crypto material got uh, uh, this crypto material created by the cryptogen tool so we are not using any materials so we will be using the this one just we have created using certificate authority now the procedure is exactly same which we have followed up earlier uh, another one change uh, would be required in the docker compose file now we have already certificate authorities uh, instances up and running now in the docker compose file the first two services 
we were having ca org 1 ca org 2 right now we will not be required these two services because the certified authority instances are already up and running so in that case we have to run only three orderers four ps four cows db you can see here these are all the services just comment upper first two services i just commented here now we will be running our network just go back ls we have here docker compose file docker compose up in detached mode now this network will be using the latest con crypto materials created by the cryptogen tool another one change would be require so before that just doc docker compose down so we have created the crypto material but using this crypto material we did not create crypto uh, genesis block and channel dot transactions block so we have to do that and there as well we have to make some changes in channel uh, create artifact dot sh so this line number nine generate cryptogen so previously we you were using cryptogen tool to generating the certificate now we have all the generated certificate no need to execute this command just comment this part line number nine line number two line number and four uh, line number four these are uh, removing actually existing so we don't want to remove that because that is already created by the certificate authorities and we are not creating again using this cryptogen tool the next step what, what we are doing here just we are creating the genesis block and the channel dot transactions block and generating anchor pair update these four steps we have to do so i will be doing here only create artifacts dot hs so this genesis block channel dot transaction block the this will get created actually it will get override but let me delete this part yeah so i'm running this command and genesis block my channel block block org1 msp anchor pair tx or 2 msp anchor pair tx got created here now we can start our network because this genesis block will be used for bootstrapping the orderer our crypto material is already created by certified authority the channel artifacts we have created just now the next task is running over all the services ls we have docker compose file here docker compose up in detached mode so this will run all the services which are included inside the docker compose dot yaml file and for this network we will be using new crypto materials now all the services are, are up and running we can check docker ps you can see here three certified authorities and these are the 11 instances total 14 containers are there right now the next step is creating the channel so in channel create channel dot hs file So we are keeping exactly same as the previous and these files are already created and we are just mounting uh, we are exporting those environmental variable these folders are all the create already got created you can see using the certified authority we have created the same folder structure so no need to change anything inside this file or maybe in deploy chinko.hs as well so let's run that create channel create channel.hs here you can see channel got created and all peers are joining the channel yeah created channel and join all the peers the next task is deploying the chain code so for that uh, you are already aware about how we can do that deploy chain code as generally package the chain code 
package in code install in code on the endorsing peer approve for the both organization as per the endos uh, life endorsement life cycle next one is commit the chain code so when we commit the chain code this will get instantiated after that you can invoke initialization query invoke transactions and the query so these all these things will be done by this deploy chain code .hs. so i will be running this script now and all these things we are right now we are using new crypto material created by the certified authorities and our network will be running properly using this cert certificate created by the certified authorities you can see these all the steps first installed first is the packaged after that install approved for both organization you can see here commit invoking some transactions and after that the final step would be the querying you can see here this is and now we can see do two con docker container as well docker ps additional docker container that is the chain codes chain code containers now we can verify as well we can verify that data using that cows db so cows db 0 is running on 5984 this port so we can just go there here local host 5984 slash underscore utils you can you will get this different kind of databases and this is the my channel underscore fabcar and here we will get 10 cars we just invoked from the command line and in this way we can create our network using certificate which are created by the certificate authority whenever we add any new organization or maybe new orderer using this certificate authority only we can create the crypto material and join the existing network and that is very easy steps uh, that's it for this video in case if you are facing any kind of the issue just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching stay tuned for the more update